Yo, welcome back to the Slow Burn Hour, episode six. How are you doing, Chuda? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, you know? It's game week. Yeah. It's game week. I feel uh, nervous. Just you saying that, I got a little fucking shock in my heart. Just like, yeah. oh, it is, it is literally by the time, three days by the time this happens, three days away. Really? I thought three days away. Wednesday? Four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you don't count today, then yeah, three days. Oh, okay. No, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Does the day of count? That's what I'm saying. Anyway. Two days away. Yeah, it's two days away. If you haven't got your ticket, it's still time. Ticket links are going to be everywhere. We got physical tickets. You can hit us up. Man, it's going to be a great show. Slow Burn Crew. Yep. January 20th. Who else? Who else? God's Work. Aztec. Drew the Dragon. Avenue Sound. Uh, Oso and Mag G. Some of our greatest friends. Some of our greatest family, you know. Sounds by DJ Nijo Soul. DJ, DJ Nijo Soul. Shout out Soul. Johnny Boy Lopez. Johnny Boy Lopez. Now Jane. Got him. Shout out Tank Shop. Yep. Yonix. It's going to be a great time. Car. How do you, yeah, uh, how do you feel about like, like wrapping up? Like we're halfway, you know? We're halfway through the tour. Right. How uh, do you feel? I feel it's like bittersweet, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it's bittersweet because... Stand of the tour, but also it's sweet because we get to work on new stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. We got some music videos we've been holding off. We've been flooding you guys, the viewers, with new videos. You know, mini videos, yeah, yeah. music videos. But that's not even the album is still coming. After this is all album stuff. You We're know. not letting off the gas, boy. We nope, nope. Uh, I feel good though. We got this one, we then we got Sacramento. Yeah, that one's exciting. Live band, as we keep telling you guys, because we want y'all to come. That one's limited seating though. We want y'all to come. How do you feel? Come for me. Oh man, <laughs> um, I'm excited. I'm excited for. I'm excited for Saturday. Yeah, we're gonna tear it up. We went. We went last weekend. To the venue. Oh man, it's it's a dope venue. Yeah, it's it's gives real hip hop underground. It's real. I love it. Yep. It's well, dope. it was dope. Baby Gas was there. Yeah, it was a Throw out a tree. I got some tree. I got yeah, some I tree right that. there. Yeah. Rolled it up. Fire. <laughs> yeah. I said it was gas. Nice. That's good. If we gave out bad weed, it wouldn't be good. Yeah, but yeah. I'm excited to do the live band too. You know, I'm excited to, like you said, I'm excited to get into the. Music stuff. I'm excited to finally push out the loud pack slowly. Yeah. I'm excited to keep going. I'm excited to shoot. I'm excited to I'm excited to do everything, bro. I'm just excited to work. I'm excited to shift my attention towards more working than performing. Yeah, definitely me too. Cause you know, we were kinda we were gearing up. We we're getting ready to do that at the end of the last year, but these shows came around, you know, mm-hmm. so it's like I was, it's like a tease, I guess. Like, oh, okay, we're about yeah, to yeah. do a lot of uh, creative stuff. Yeah. And not that doing shows isn't creative, but it's yeah. just a lot of, it's it, kind of a, it takes another a lot layer of, of It stress. takes a lot of energy. Yeah, because you got to push the tickets and shit. Push tickets. We got to make sure, I mean, we're we always, no we're always, we're always in the lab and on the fucking whiteboard, anything that we got to fucking write down, make sure the set's going down. Songs are going to come off. Songs are going to yeah, come on. That's true. We're going to practice it. We're going to. We're gonna try to make sure that every performance we do is the best energy we can, and that yeah. I feel like it just it just drains us. That's but true. like you said, excited to get back to it. Yeah, and then uh, you know we started doing no background vocals or no uh, how you say? It? Yeah, no backing vocals. No backing vocals on our songs, so that's kind of an extra layer of a little bit of stress. But yeah. you know, it's like we went up in difficulty in the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's it's oh shit. Aww. It's definitely fun. <laughs> It's more fun than when it was uh, originally with the lyrics. Yeah, when we turned down it, a little bit. When we first did it at the Jay Laurie show, mm-hmm. it was it was cool. He had a uh, the the system was in there was nice too. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna sound crazy in the tank shop because it's a big. It's basically a big box. Yeah. So those fuck, that bass yeah. is gonna be basing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyways, it sounded cool. It was nice to you brought it up how. Sometimes when you were rapping on backing vocals, you would come in in a different pocket live. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be it'd throw you off because the backing vocals were there. Yeah. But with the live vocals, you just it's kind of more of a Play-Doh thing. Yeah, yeah. You can cool. do it. You can rap however, if as long as you 
hit that pocket. You hit a pocket and not the same one as the actual song. I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like, you know, that's what the fuck we're doing for live performances for, right? right? You know, they could listen to the song if they want on, on the streaming. That's true. You know, they're here to see a show. They're here to see you perform that song. Yeah. So I'm glad we're doing that now. Yeah, me too. It's another layer. It's fun. You know, we fuck up sometimes. But we pick it up, you know. Yeah, yeah. It gets awkward. We've talked about this. It gets awkward when we miss like three bars. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I did it at the Jay Laura show. I don't know. I forgot which song. Yeah. Damn right, I think. And then I was just like staring at the crowd for a bit. And then I caught it. And then like, ah. Oh, yeah. I feel like nobody cares though. If you yeah. catch it, if yeah. you catch uh, like a few bars yeah, late. You could play it off and be like, yeah. oh shit, he did that on purpose. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. That's dope. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, Not much. Wrapping up the tour. Oh yeah, wrapping up the tour. What do you... Uh, we feel good about it. What do you... What'd you get into this week? It's or already the middle since, of the week. Since uh, since the last time we filmed. Of this podcast? Yeah. You know what? This podcast felt kind of <clears throat> long before. It felt long. Like the gap between recording. Well, we went to San Jose. Yeah. To try to push flyers the old yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. The classic way. But, yeah. you know, it started raining. Yeah. Tragically. Unfortunately. We were going to street perform. Yeah. Nice day. What I do on Sunday? I don't remember. You go first. Okay. Hmm. On Sunday, on Sunday, I was home. Okay. I think I was just chilling at home. Yeah, I did, I did the I same thing. I was thing. just chilling. I was, I was taking the time to just chill at home. Yeah. That's it. It was a long, uh, it was a long night on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, long Because I think I drove... We got back. I got back home at like two. And then you got home. Yeah, back at two. And then I get up at six. So yeah, I think I was just relaxing. Okay. Monday, I was at the studio. It's weird. It's so quick. Yeah. It's already the middle of the next week. Yeah. And it's like what the veg, man. Monday, I was here. I did those videos for God's work mm-hmm. in Aztec. Yeah. Um, and that was it. And then Tuesday, I was at home. Yeah. Chilling. And Wednesday, I'm here. It's like, I don't know. It's not enough time, man. It's all <laughs> just, you know, there's, how is it? Uh, How's it already here? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it. Um, like on Monday, I was like, okay, I got to like, I got four days to mm-hmm. practice my verses. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, two days. Oh, shit. Yeah, it came by fast. I agree. Especially... Working in the, in the in the morning and then just coming out and then coming here. Even if I don't come here, just half of my day is already gone for the morning. When I, yeah. And then it's like, it goes by fast, which is, well, I'm glad it's going by fast. And I feel like getting to the show, it wasn't going by fast. But now this week is fucking flying by. Flying. Ever since Saturday, I feel like it's just been flying by. It's true. It has. Yeah, sometimes I just look out. I'm like, how is it nighttime already? Yeah. I just woke up. But if you think about it, I'm, I guess if I'm up, what time do you wake up? I'll get up at, I get up late at 6.30. 5.30? 6.30 to 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of hours. Yeah. How many hours is that? 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Uh, 5. And then uh, 15 hours? That's a long time to be awake. Yeah. Yeah. Without a nap in between either? Yeah. That's crazy. That's kind of, if you think about it, I'm like, damn. I'm not efficient enough then. No. Nah. Or it's just like, it's never going to be enough, you know? So it'll never be enough. Yeah, you're right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get tires for my car. Just talk about boring shit on here. Man, we got to, uh, I, I, I literally have, let me fucking, let me, let me hit the fucking, the Benjamin, the breaking Benjamin. Okay. Uh, this uh, this episode is sponsored by. I'm just kidding. We don't have sponsors yet. That'd be cool. Yeah. Who would you want to be sponsored by? <coughs> blue Chew. Blue Chew. <laughs> Everyone has a Blue Chew. <laughs> That's why I, I I can't I can't wait to. Uh, if I you ever try those? Have it have it coming on and be like. My Do guy. you want to fuck? You know how to fuck or not? Nah? With Blue Chew, <coughs> you can fuck. Yep. Um, I've I've never tried a Blue Chew. No. Me either. Any enhancer? 
I feel <laughs> it fucks you up, right? Right? Like if you take that, <laughs> it, it fucks with your shit. <clears throat> like it's like a, I think it damages your nerve endings almost, and a lot of that shit is not FDA approved. But I mean, right. no, not not that it. I mean, I heard they make them. And then they just wait for them to get shut down, and they make another one, mm. and they just move it by a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I've tried natural remedies, as in blueberries, um, watermelon. Uh, what's another one? Um, pineapple juice. Pineapple, I mean. Yeah, pineapple. Some cranberry. If we're going cranberry. for taste here. Water. Stay hydrated. Water definitely is essential. All right. Enough of this nastiness. <laughs> We're just talking about fruits, bro. Yeah, We're just talking uh, about our favorite fruits. <coughs> Have you ever tried an uh, eggplant? No, I haven't. Me either. I haven't tried an eggplant. Yeah, I don't even know if I've seen one in yeah. the wild. You, yeah. You know you know what the fuck I feel like we got to do for today's motherfucking episode? I feel like we just got to fucking... Go into the questions and just fucking. You want to start? I mean, there's this. I I got nothing. I obviously am. I don't want to fucking okay, pull let's, anything. Let's out of my see, let's see what the questions saying. We'll go off that. Let's go. Okay. I had a I had a personal one asked to me. <coughs> it was, who would you collab with? Oh, they DM you. Underground or no, in person. Oh, okay. Underground or celebrity, like celebrity status, you know. Say that again. That was Who would you collab with? Uh huh. Underground or celebrity status? Yeah, and any. I have to choose one. Mm-hmm. Like right now. Let's do three. Let's do three. Oh, okay, three. Underground. Well, collab in any way. In any way. I definitely want to collab with the alchemist himself. Okay, that'd be gangster. Yeah. Um, Vince Staples. Mm-hmm. That'd be fire. I want to tape with Vince Staples. These are just tapes I want with people. Yeah. I want to tape with uh, Currency. Okay. I mean, there's more than three, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Currency and, and Alchemist, I feel like they're underground legends still. Yeah. Alchemist is kind of, he went kind of big though. Yeah. He went kind of big though. Yeah, yeah. But I'll, I can go all day with underground people. Yeah. Let me go for someone higher. You know, I would do if I could produce a whole album for Kendrick, that'd be crazy. No, I guess any whole album for Kendrick Cole, Drake, Travis, mm-hmm. Dawn, Baby Keem. Is he still? He doesn't count as underground. He's too big, huh? That's just crazy. just because of correlation with Kendrick. Yeah, there's so many. But for this, I'll say Alchemist, Currency, and uh, Kendrick. Okay, why? Why? Yeah, why? Each of them, why? Oh, well, the alchemist. I just want to st- just analyze how he works. A lot of my production is already based off him. It's based off a lot of people, but a lot of my sampling, how mm-hmm. I sample, is based yeah, off yeah. him. But to see how he works would be, I think, just like steal. Not steal, but you know, just mm-hmm. take notes. Uh, currency, because he's just so. I want to bring out, you know how his last album was mm-hmm. really good? Yeah. I want to, I just want to make a really good currency project. Yeah. Um, I just fuck with currency, man. When he's rapping good. Mm-hmm. Um, and Kendrick, Dam, Kendrick Dam mm-hmm. was probably one of the most influential albums in my, uh, in my youth. Yeah. As a teenager. Okay. And yeah, I'm just fuck with him. I fuck with that. By you? I had the whole time to think about it, too. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just so invested in your answers. You know, I was giving you my undivided attention. Yeah. I feel like I didn't give enough for currency. Let me go back. Yeah. Okay, go back, go back. Okay, currency. I just really like how he moves as an independent yeah. artist, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's I, so... I he's so... It's the same with Alchemist, too, as an independent Mm-hmm. Uh, artist because he's an artist he does cover arts and stuff like that yeah. I relate to both of them a lot Yeah, I take notes from how they both work a yeah. lot like the, I don't know if Currency, Currency I don't think he does anything but rap he's obviously into cars and stuff he's, all, all his uh, business ventures all, yeah but that in aside, that way aside, aside from 
Exactly. Aside from the creative the merch, side, the merch yeah, is the, crazy. The merch, but Alchemist for sure. His how he push. He does his cover arts. Mm-hmm. He does uh, the production. He does. He even mixes them. Yeah. And even all, the same with the merch. You know, just the way they both move as yeah, independent yeah. artists. I take a lot of notes from already. How how I'm trying to lay the foundation for us. You know? Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. Um, you have three seconds. Just kidding. I would say for sure, for sure, currency too. You know, um, always just like you said. You know, the way that he works. I've seen almost every interview just picking up game from what he's done yeah. as from his uh, what got him to the point he's at right now. You you've know? seen that story where he was uh, he was talking how there was a hurricane coming. And he was high as, he was hella high, he <laughs> did, but he didn't know. Yeah. And everybody was evacuating, he was just fucking recording an album. Just, everybody was fucking... Nah, I, I, I didn't hear that shit, I didn't hear that. I think it was on, a, like, Rap Radar or something. Mm. Anyways, my That's bad. Funny. I just thought that was funny. He, he said he came out for some, like, he went to go get snacks, and he's like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> he just came out, and it was different, all yeah. that shit. Yeah, so, yeah, Currency for show, you know. Probably, I would like to make a song with with Don Don Tolliver for sure. Last one, I'm a I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the neighborhood just because they they've collabed mm. with some rap artists that are like and those songs came out fire. I like their songs. Yeah, I like. Um, I mean, I've seen they had songs with Nipsey. They got songs with Denzel Curry. Yeah, I don't even know. I think the only they got songs with Dej Loaf. Dej Loaf. Is that how you say your name? Getting a phone call. Hello? What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't even have to talk to nobody. All right, bye. Uh, eight. Bye. It was my brother. Sorry, guys. So uh, yeah, neighborhood, yeah. I don't know much about the neighborhood. <clears throat> who, who are they? They're, I mean, they're pretty like known now in their lane, you know. But what is their lane? It was a like a alternative rock sound, sound, sound. Okay. And I would just like to experiment, experiment, you know, that with that with that safe sound. Um, that's does that. What else did I say? You said Don Tolliver and Currency. Yeah, I mean Don Tolliver. I just feel like, you know, it's it's, it's beautiful music every time I've heard it. And, it's true. You know, I feel like he takes his craft really serious. I've heard from interviews that it's very. He says he likes to be very intimate. He likes to create, you know, the way that we do. Yeah. On the spot, and it's what we're vibe. We're we're both making the track. Yeah. That's but yeah, that's my three and why. It's pretty good. Yeah, but there's so many more than three, you know? Yeah. There's this guy, Nug Life. Mm hmm I feel like I want to, I want to, he's a producer slash artist, rapper. Yeah. So he's an artist, but he does these compilation albums with, with a lot of people that are uh, kind of how we, de- how we just describe as the middle ground. Yeah. Where they're up and coming. I really like how he moves. He does it right. But it's like all like it's all really hip hop. It's like real hip hop shit, weed songs and shit. Mm-hmm. His sampling is really good. Uh, there's a lot of people. Boldy James. I don't know if he's big or not. I'd say he's still underground. Mavi, he's dope. Mick Jenkins, do some work with Mick Jenkins would be fire. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Who else we got? Lil Yachty. That'd be fire. I want to do it. Lil Yachty. Yeah, a lot of people. Obviously, J. Cole. The big three. Yeah. J. Cole, Drake, Kendrick. Uh, but even go down from that, Lil Yachty. There's... Um, do you like the Bay a lot? Do I like the Bay? Yeah, I like Bay scene. I, I know... Well, we take a lot of... Uh, I think... Unintentionally, we kind of, 
adopted a lot of the Bay yeah. roots of like <clears throat> hustling and pushing as an independent artist. Just because we're closer to the Bay than SoCal, you know? Like, yeah. There's, there's a lot of... But I didn't even know that that was a thing when we were doing it. Uh-huh. Because I th- I've been finding out recently, more recently, about the culture of yeah. independent artists from the Bay Area. And yeah, yeah. How they were... Basically, the out the trunk people like they basically invaded, yeah, pushing CDs and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And we're very much like that, I think. Yeah, but I didn't know that. It was, I mean, it's cool to learn about that. But as far as like uh, Bay artists, I don't know that many. I mean, I don't know. I like forty, of course. I like uh, I like the Bay. I like the culture. Culture's fun. You no, know, huh? I'm I'm not a. I wouldn't say like a fucking enthusiast. I'm like, you know, because there's people who be like, who want to be from the Bay so bad, you know, mm. like, but they're not from the Bay, but like, right. they take everything from it and, you know, which is good, which is cool, you know, it's fine, you know, paying homage, you know, the, the, it's, it's, it's gone fucking statewide, you know, culture from the Bay. Right. You know, they invented a lot of slang. It's like, true. You know, and, and it just started moving around all over California. Yeah. So, there's a lot of stuff that uh, is in... Like where we're at, like small town stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it, it came. Like I learned yeah. now, like it came from the, it yeah. came from the bay. Yeah. If you think about it, like L. A. had it too, and then when uh, they were doing the music scene and whatnot. But over here in the bay, too short, and E40. Yeah. They was really doing. They, they. I feel like that was like some real fucking hip hop grunge, like fucking trying to push this shit going yeah. by itself. Like you said, the independent artistry too. And um, I don't know. I like the, the playerness of. Their, right. side, their yeah, sounds is always like just that. so like smooth and, and the and the yeah. nasty ass bass lines, crazy. It's just fire. The beats know? are insane. They've I, they've always been yeah, insane. Yeah, even yeah. now, even even within the bay, there's still so much greatness. Souls of Mischief. Oh yeah, I do know. Lo- I do know Souls of Mischief. Lo- Looney's. Um, I do. Who know was, Souls there was of another. Gr- there was another one. Ah oh, fuck. Oh, the Zion Eye, the, Zion Eye. the one that I have played for you recently. The, yeah, yeah. I just I, like, I just crazy. heard that one when I played it for you. That yeah. like maybe two days ago, just listening to it. I remember I had a Souls of Mischief little phase. Yeah, yeah. I was listening to that album. It was really good. The ninety three two, that was dope. But uh, yeah, that's dope. I was gonna say something about the Bay. It's fun when we go out there. Yeah. It's definitely fun. The beats are crazy. All the beats are crazy. I feel like I got, I got a lot of the, the the boom, like the the triplet, the yeah. da, 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 yeah. that shit. It's, I don't know. Oh, I saw a meme. Okay. Well, I heard a meme, and it said when people love when L.A. rappers get on Bay beats and Detroit rappers get on Bay beats, mm-hmm. but when uh, Bay rappers get on Bay beats, they call it garbage. <laughs> There's a lot of hate. Yeah. It's a uh, you, you put me onto this hate of the California. California, it's a lot of self hate with each other and it's the 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 politics and all that, right. you know, the the gang life and everything that some people can't collaborate with other people just cuz due to stuff that was there before their time, you know that moved on down and even stuff that just happened, you know, it's it's a it, it, it's cold, you know, motherfuckers are yeah, motherfuckers get wild, and that's pretty much it. And it's like it's true, it's it's a whole pride thing, you know. It's just really, really gotta stand for it. So I say it's a obviously everybody always says if we all united and whatnot, Cali would be so much bigger than what it is now, just because it's so divided and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I agree, I agree. I feel we would definitely take over music scene right now but there's a lot of like right now who's who's what's the music scene atlanta and that's the music scene right now still i think it still is the trap i the think it still music? is bro i think yeah texas texas i feel like it's coming up more now yeah like texas is back, coming back into the conversation slowly I like oh that. detroit detroit too detroit detroit and the bay have very similar sounds that's true they do but detroit has more of a it's rougher they're um yeah it's it's like it's more uh, i feel like it's more uh i don't know have more of an edge i don't know the bay has some <laughs> sort of like like Gro- grooviness yeah it's, uh, it's, the other ones there's move, more movement yeah 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 detroit is like i'm gonna fucking stab you or yeah. something you know yeah no they're, they're dope and all the all the hustle shit too 
Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, one thing from what I know about Detroit is that it's just a, and it's only from fucking research and shit and just little, yeah. little, little facts from cities and whatnot. It's just like, you know, it's, it's the fucking city to get money and, you know, not the city to go to get money, right, in, but everybody in I'm that city. Sure it's like but, everybody, but everybody in that city is with that mentality of, you know, it's time to get that money, you know. Plus, they, I f- they that's where uh, E40, E40 was going to the Bay back in a day, like, like back, he was making those connections, you know, that that still that have us so close to the Bay now, with mm. so close to the Detroit now, Bay in Detroit, because of those connections that E Forty had made, from, you know, back in the day. Yeah. So going back and forth, you know, it, and it eventually started being like their cousins type shit. Right. I heard that too. The Bay and the Detroit are cousins. Yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah. That. that. That's that's how E Forty came back with the Cardis. Ooh. The car, the Cardis are uh, oh, the, are the Detroit thing. The, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're and, right. And he came mad about that back to the Bay. I heard Danny Brown talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah. right. And they get that. serious out there. They kill for those. Yeah, I heard that. That's crazy. I heard that. It's yeah. crazy. You got blood stains yeah. on your Cardis. New York. I feel like New York's always gonna. It's never gonna be not a top tier city to like for hip hop. Even now with the oh, drill yeah. scene, drill scene is taking over too. You know. Yeah. The New York drill. At least. I think uh, right now there's there's not that many. Um, there's a lot of repeat sounds out here. Yeah. And uh, even I don't feel like we found our sound yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but we will. But people have told us we sound unique compared to other people. Yeah. But I don't feel like we've hit it yet. Yeah. Like we're not like we haven't hit the. The mark where it's really special yet. Yeah. In my opinion. It's still good music, but I just like, oh, we're not yeah. there yet. I'm, 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 you got piss? Okay. And we're back. <sighs> back to this. Uh, Shout out to uh, Surgeon. What do you, what I? His new album is coming out. Let me see oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a, re- oh, this Friday. It's coming out this Friday, uh, 17, 18, 19, 19. January 19th, shout out to Surge. you have a production credit? I have a production credit on that? Yep, you have a production credit. Oh, well, would you look at that? Hey, man, fucking Surgeon, this Friday, out everywhere, want lyricists? Motherfucker, go give you lyricists. Mm. I got production credit. Sick. Oh, so produced by the homies, you know? Yeah, that's sick. All in-house I lo- produced. I, I love, love that. that. Oh shit! We said at the same time. Ten tracks. That's it. I think this is uh, the longest. I'm excited. I'm excited to hear it. I don't know, but I just know it's gonna be fucking good. Mm -hmm. Want to go to the next question? Yeah. Next question. Uh, It's two way. Yeah. From God's work, he says. uh, Central Valley artist versus other states. Mm. Who wins and why? What it, so it's just Central Valley against other states? Like, not That's, even in California? Uh, yeah, it's just, nah, just Central just Valley. Like, nah, you so basically guys. all the homies. Yeah, all right. Um, all the homies. Versus any other state? Any other state. What, what, was it, what was it? Who wins and why? Mm, okay, versus any other state. Who yeah. wins and why? A whole fucking state, though? Yeah, Damn. Central Valley, little... I know we're supposed to say we're fucking the best at all times, but let's see. If we were to take a... I mean, what does that mean, you know? I think he's talking... Like rappers, art, like, you know, like... Right. I think he's... We'll say rappers. Okay, let, if we're going lyricists... I mean, this is this is tough. It's very tough. It's very tough. Any state. We can go against bro. other states in general. Any any other state, bro? Is Texas have, a they state? I have it. We'll go crazy. Yeah, Texas is a state. Okay, I just had to make sure. I get those confused. You know, I failed second grade or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, any state, Central Valley over any state, because yep, we know that's what the fuck we're supposed to say. Next and question. they w- and we win uh, because we're the shit, basically. I second that. Drew the Dragon. Talk about the first beats you guys remember making, and what was the motivation to each of you to begin? Okay. First beats were butt cheeks. That's what these first beats were. Nothing was in time. I wasn't even sampling yet. Or maybe I was trying to, but I I think I was trying to... I remember just... 
mashing sounds together. And that was it. What was the motivation? I don't know. I mean, the motivation was just it. Like, you know, I was just having fun. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to learn how to do it. I was very uh, obsessed with trying to find a sound. Yeah. And uh, I learned that the frustration doesn't get you anywhere. I would like, I was just sit there and just, I'm like, nothing's working. Yeah. But uh, you just got to let it happen. And eventually, I don't even know when it happened. Maybe like, I feel like a couple years ago, it just clicked. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There was no, like, I don't know. Like, it just ro- kept rolling, rolling, yeah, yeah. and then all of a sudden we're here, you know? Yeah. yeah. The motivation was to be good, to be fucking the greatest. That's the motivation. Okay. Your turn. I would say, I remember, first beat was like, uh, I mean, I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay. Some dubstep beats. Oh, yep, yep. Back in the day, I was making with the sam- with the sampler apps. With I was doing um uh, that too, but I had reason. Oh yeah, I do remember that. I had reason, and I was over here trying to make dubstep, and when I, I don't know. <laughs> I remember. I that. was listening to dubstep at the I time. I was listening that. to Skrillex and yeah. fucking and Nero and all I was, that. I was listening to Dead Mouse in, yeah. in middle school. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. It yeah. was a phase. It was a phase I had. I don't. Yeah, that's I, what was popping. I, I was like, I, that was I liked the, it. I liked it. The videos yeah. were crazy too. Yeah, Skrillex videos were always insane. But so yeah, dubstep was where I started it. And you know, and I, I, I don't know. I was like middle school, so I just thought it was cool already. You know, I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, I did that shit, bro. And it's like a drum loop. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's what. Yeah. The first time you do a drum loop and it loops correctly. You be, yeah. I, you feel on top of the world, yeah. bro. Yeah, I, I put that away. I, I put that away, and then flash forward, fast forward to some to Ableton. Yep. And you were, I mean, you just taught me. I was. I will, whenever you learn something new, if I wasn't there already, then you would just fucking pass the pass the fucking knowledge down. Yeah. So whenever I got to do my own thing, whenever I got to like make my own first beats, I mean, I would just try to recreate beats. Yeah. Cause I was just learning. So whenever I would hear a beat that I like, I would go find the sample. I would go, you know, I was just trying to make it. Yeah. I would I was just try to make it. And that led to one of the first beats I made was just like I, I did the drums of a sample to another thing, this song, this Daz FX song. Mm-hmm. And then. I don't know. I just started fucking around with like playing it on the laptop keys and whatnot. I, it was like a fucking electric guitar and it just started going hard. And I was like, I don't know. I, I made it. It was fire to me at the time. I made some stupid ass bars to it. I fucking. Yeah. <laughs> but so it was fun though. I, I still remember it being fun. I still remember it happening. I still. Yeah. The motivation was just I, you know, I, I wasn't always able to go to your house. I wasn't always able to be. In in the in the area we worked in, yeah. So I would just be like, you know, okay, well, I, I can get something off, you know, start practicing right here. Yeah, After you're reminding me about the remaking beats. I would listen to Jay Dilla. Yeah, life, and just try to remake yeah. that beat mm-hmm. for hours. And how did that me, go? Huh? Would you say you could do it now? Now, yeah, I could do it now. I could do it now for sure. Because now I know it's like yeah. a sample. Yeah. Before I'm like, how do you like, you know? I'm like, what the like? He yeah, played yeah. the B, or I, I was yeah. trying to recreate, find chords and match the notes and stuff, which I think that helped too. Uh, I remember I would uh, try to make like a Bone Thugs type of beat. Yeah, yeah. But it just came out hella robotic. Like before I learned how to swing or what it was, I don't know what it is because some. I feel like I kept doing the same thing over and over again, and then eventually it just sounded good. Yeah. But I think a part of it was also getting better drum sounds and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I would remember I would take Mac Miller. I was listening to F- Divine Feminine at the time. And he had the song with Ariana Grande. Yeah. And uh, I w- there was the, I didn't like the drums in it. Or there was no drums. I don't remember. But I remember I was like, I had the little, my drum pad and I loaded mm-hmm. drums in it. And I was, I was just, while the song was playing, I was finger drumming. And I was like, oh, this is fire. It wasn't though. It was off time and shit. But. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I downloaded the song, I put drums to it, and then I exported it. And I was just listening to my, because I had Android back. This is back when I was still an Android head. Like, I was a, I was anti-iPhone. I'm like, Android's the shit. Mm-hmm. If you have an iPhone, you're a bitch, like, type of thing. Yeah. I'm like, I could, I could customize my wallpaper, like, that shit. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have a headphone jack. Anyways. I put my my cheap ass wired yeah, headphones yeah. from Dollar Tree in there. Yeah, yeah. And I just listened to that remix. I'm like, this is better than the original. It definitely wasn't, but that's how I felt. Yeah. But yeah, I remember doing that. I remember that exact moment too. I remember hearing it. Yeah. The, the fuck. Yeah. The Mac. That the was Mac like Mac one of the first remix? times I was like, whoa. I was like, bro, can I get a beat like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That was fun. I showed my friends that one. This is so. Yeah, I, but the Dilla. How is uh like showing? Do you do you still show people music like friends and shit like that? Uh, I mean, mo- I don't really. Uh, have... That's not like artists, you know. Like, do you ever show people who don't aren't, aren't like that's a anybody you come in contact with that you, if you were to show them something, you know? Not really. I mean, I don't have friends uh, that aren't artists anymore. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I have, I think, from like school, like just like one, mm-hmm. one left. Shout out Samuel. But even I don't I haven't kept I haven't uh, I haven't talked to him in a while but no nah, I mean I really don't show people music yeah this is you 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 guys are the main ones yeah, you yeah. Mac and O's yeah I see you guys the most often yeah um, and if I show beats off I'm giving them to the homies you know yeah but no I don't I I don't really do that okay and then yeah. if I see somebody I recognize from school or something I'm just, I just rather not speak to them, <laughs> you know. Like from I don't know, yeah, high school yeah, was not yeah. enjoyable time for me. I feel that. So, yeah, I I be seeing people from high school sometimes, uh, and if they come up to me, you know, I'll say what's up. But yeah, you know, I I don't, you know, I, I'm just like they. It just goes back to that time we were talking about the social anxiety too. Like I'm just yeah. like, just get reminded of all the embarrassing shit I did. <laughs> Yeah, I I just remember just not talking to a lot of people. You know, I got I got uh I got fucking titled stoner pretty early in high school. So you I was, were one, you know, but not even like that though. You know, I I, I smoked weed in 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 freshman year, and that was, and then I stopped for a minute, and then picked back up maybe junior year. So, you know, even when I wasn't smoking, I was like, that's like oh. They're just like, bro, this guy, bro, he fucking he, smokes pounds a week. Yeah, every basically, day, I'm like, man. it's like, look at him, he's high right now. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm not even high right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just look like this, bro. Yeah, but if you think about it, right? Or we're, we're fucking that's judgmental time in there. Yeah, you're they right. They see you doing right. one thing, that's it, bro. Yeah, you're right. You're the you. You could do this. You could do one thing that someone else did the same exact thing, but for some reason, you know what? Nah. He's cool for doing it, but you're not. Yeah, you're weird for doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it was a uh, it, it was crazy time. Yeah, let's move what on. if we go back like 22 Jump Street type shit? Oh hell no! <laughs> bro, I, I, this, I, I look at the kids in high school. I, like, Y'all are children, bro. I seen. I, it makes me. It reminds me to like be like, bro. There's no way that we were in high school and there's girls who were like 15 talking about like, oh yeah, my man is uh is 23. No, that's crazy shit. Like, yeah. Like you been back then, you're just like, damn, I'm I'm fucking well, shit. My bad. I, I don't have. I don't bring nothing to the table. That fool's got a whole ass apartment. And yeah. Fucking, you know, shit. he's got income. I don't got nothing. I'm just in high school. Yeah. And I'm thinking now that I'm 23, I'm just like... That's a pedophile. I, I can't even, like... I don't even grasp that, like... This, it doesn't come across my mind. Like, yeah. whenever someone's even thinking in that way, I'm just like, what? No, that's crazy. That's like, keep your homies in check. No, you, got hom- you got homies that, that are going after fucking... Even 17 is kind of pushing it. No, no 17 eight, is definitely pushing bro, it. 18, 18, you have to answer some questions because, like, what... You, you 18 is pushing it for me, bro. Like, it's like uh it depends how old you are. If you're 20, 20. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, bro. But once you're like past 21, maybe, like it's like it gets to uh it gets kind of it gets kind of funky. Especially if you're above if you hit it's late just like, 20s. It's, it's, you're just you're just older, you know. They're younger, yeah. and it's, it's just it's a, just fucked up. It's, it's not just, right, man. It's it's, it's weird. Because I like if you think about just when you were eighteen, 
Well, when I was 18. I was saying you in general. Yeah. I was dumb as fuck, bro. Yeah. I know women mature you, faster you, than you, men. But regardless, but, you think you know everything yeah. at that age. Yeah, man. You think you not, know more. You think you know more than everybody. Yeah, you know, no, it's not. I don't <laughs> fuck with that, man. because uh, even like when old men are with young women, like sixty year olds with twenty year olds. Yeah, yeah that's kind of crazy. But I'm sure the the girls getting a bag or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, definitely. But that's crazy. Definitely. You know, I I'll I'll understand it if it's a if it's um if it's like an older guy because you know sometimes like what I what what happens is a lot of older guys they just want to die with someone with a bad bitch on the yeah arm? basically I you know that. they don't I even like that. want the you know sometimes they don't even get hard no more they you know yeah, so they even, so they yeah. can't even do the thing so they just there they do the thing you know go, home, home home girl gets a bag maybe she loves him maybe she doesn't but he might might not care but what he cares about is. You know, this was my wife when I died. Right. You know? He's like, I went down strong. Yeah. So I'll give it to him. If you're going out with the bank, yeah, yeah bro. I guess you. I guess there's a weird thing, huh? Right? Yeah. If you're like 70, yeah. 60 to 80, and you yeah. got a young girl. Yeah. But if you're like from 20, yeah, 25 yeah, yeah. to yeah. 59. Yeah. It's like, bro, check yourself. Check <laughs> yourself, bro. Yeah. Um, there was a... Um, there's another question that I was asked me. What's one thing about yourself that someone might not know? Like the normal person. But why would I tell that to the public? Wait, or like a secret? It doesn't have to be a secret. Oh, like it's just a, like something that someone might not know. I mean, you don't, you're, I, I oh. want to say, you know, we're open books like that, telling everything about ourselves. There's still some yeah. stuff that people don't know that it's just information that's right. ready to grab. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess people don't know much, all right? Yeah, that's In what general. I'm saying, yeah. I don't know. Anything? Anything? Uh, <laughs> Let me go. I'll, I'll, I'll go, go first. first. I'll go first. One thing might not that be known about me. You're fucking good at skating. You're a guy. I like skateboard. I like sex. No, just That's like. a lie. Everybody knows that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I I did skate. I did skate beforehand. That wasn't gonna say. I'll touch on that real quick before I say my actual thing. Okay. You know, I I I was a little skate rat in high school. That's how I fucking got the clout. That's what I. That's what got me. Yeah, you were nice. Faces known to who I was was just because of skating. You know, they knew me for my skating. Yeah, that didn't help the stoner thing either. Yeah, especially everybody <laughs> who I skated with was smoking weed and whatnot. Yeah. You know, but I was I was getting down. I was getting nice. I was really getting to it. Then I fucking. You know, fell into some fell into some coochie, and I was like, well, you know what, skateboarding is not so fun as much as I used to think. You know, I, I really like this thing. This thing is fun. Right. I like sex. It's nice. <laughs> um, skating. Yeah, I'll always have it in my heart. I handed the torch down to my little brother. He's getting really good now. Oh so. yeah, he's he's nice too. So you know, it, it's it's dope to see that he's fucking carrying it on. You know, I know it was really fun when I was doing it. So I can. Relive my my memories through him. Almost. What is it called? Um, vicariously. Yes. So we'll go out and skate. Still, you know, I'll still get on the board every now and then. Probably do a little ollies and everything. But I'm not gonna go crazy. I'll play him skate and he'll fucking destroy me. Right. But other than that, yeah. Does he ever bust a move? Like a fucking double tray flip? And you're like, he does some crazy shit. And I'm just like, damn, you learned those? <laughs> yeah. I was like, Fuck. Like, when'd you do that? Yeah. He learns fast. He's learning fast from it. I've seen at one point in skateboarding for everybody is like you just start learning shit fast. Like mm. there's there's a there's like a it's like a hurdle you really had to go over before because it takes forever to learn tricks. It'll take like week mm -hmm. weeks. But of constant though. Yeah. Like a constant week. Yeah. Of trying it every day, yeah. you won't get it. And then at one point, some like you say, something just snaps, something clicks. It just and, happens. And you can learn a trick a day. Yeah. And it's and that's I feel like that's where he's at right now. He fucking got over that barrier and right. he's fucking just learning. It's like it's like out. us, huh? It's like yeah. it took us years to get to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel very confident in whenever we do something or whatnot. If if I'm asked to rap, I'm gonna I'm gonna write I'm gonna write a rap verse. I'm right. I'm I'm gonna and I'm gonna do a good one. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be unique to me. Nobody else is gonna be able to spit it like me. I'm I'm confident. I don't think I'll ever not be confident in my raps. Mm. Maybe before I was, you know, it wasn't so confident. Like you could even tell when I was spitting it. But now it's like, I feel like it's like an effortless thing. And sometimes I just want to talk, and it's like, 
it comes so easy. Mm. And other times when it's energy, I'm just living out my fucking ADHD tendencies that I have, you know, that fucking throw out on the mic. I'm just going, I'm just exploring, exploiting that energy or fucking just displaying it through the mic. Yeah. But I was getting sidetracked from one thing that might people might not know about me. It's like the first day of school. <laughs> uh, one thing about me is, is my about me presentations. Yeah, I hate those, dude. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. I hate those. I just hated presenting in general, just because I was—I yeah. don't know—I was so shy, so shy to present. I used to not be shy, bro. Right? In Texas, when I was in Texas, I was not shy at all. I was so talkative. And even then, I remember telling my teacher, she was like, she's like, what are you, why aren't you paying attention? And I told her, I was like, oh, it's because I don't think about girls. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking kid. That's I crazy. was like in second grade, yeah. you know? And then, uh, and then, um. What girl were you thinking about in second grade? You were just talking I, I, shit. I, I was probably just talking shit. I was yeah. definitely, I don't even think, you know. You don't even think? You weren't cause, even thinking. Because <laughs> I wasn't even the one who said it, you know? I, I, yeah. It was the girl sitting next to me. She was like, "It's cause he said it's cause he's only thinking about girls right now." And I was like, mm, "Pretty much what he said." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, I was, I was very talkative, and like, and like, my mama had to get called to class because she was like, um, "They're saying, oh, he just likes to likes to try to talk a lot and make people laugh." You know, he's like disruptive. You got the class clown thing. Yeah, type shit. But she didn't say class clown. But I got a class but clown. I know. I, my mama fucking did not take it light though. Right. She, she was like, "You're supposed to be going to learn, fucking learn." Yeah. You know, but I came back and I just uh, it was a whole new fucking circle. I didn't know nobody. So after that, I think it just stuck with me. I was like, "I'm an outsider here. I don't know anybody here." And that made me shy. I feel like it. Yeah. We just cracked it right now, right here in this therapy session. That also goes into the skating thing. Hmm. And the stoner things, yeah. Mm. Full circle. What's uh, something that they don't know about you? You used to haven't said it. Yeah. Something they don't know about me. I got a birthday this year. That's true. Every four years. Oh, yeah. This is going to be that year, February 29th. <laughs> I will be six years old. Leap year. It's going to be great. I'm excited as fuck. I'm excited that I'm actually have a birthday this year. Gonna go. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy, but... I'm definitely gonna get drunk for sure. Get, yeah. Definitely gonna get blasted, just cause I want to. Yeah. Mm, that yeah that that's it. That's pretty much What's it. What's the plans? Uh, I don't know yet. I, it? I'll I'll see when it gets there. When it gets a little closer, I'll start thinking of something. But for the most part, I just wanna just wanna turn up, get drunk. What date is land on? Uh, it lands on a Wednesday oh, or a Thursday. That's the worst. It's, it lands on a Friday. Oh, okay. That's not bad. No, on a Thursday. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it lands on a Thursday. I hate when my birthdays land on weekdays. Yeah. It's not a difference, but it's just like, it's like, ah, mm-hmm. uh, like it, it's not, it really doesn't change anything, but it's just like, ah, uh, mm-hmm. it's not even a cool day. Yeah. So what about you? I was supposed to be thinking this whole time, but I was too busy interrupting you. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of things, man. Uh, I like fucking Pokemon. Fuck with anime. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm vocal about it, but I don't hide it either. Yeah. Um, I have been. You know who's inspired me? Mm-hmm. I've always wanted, back to skating. I've always wanted to skate. But, you know, I've tried with you, before, like, w- growing up, you know? Yeah. But they were always disasters. And that really knocked me down. So I gave up as a child. Yeah. In my youth. And that's, yeah. Basically, any time that I would have been skating, it went into time producing. But recently, I've seen the homie Johnny, Johnny of Moolah. Yeah. He's fucking... He uh, was a skater already. Yeah. But he started skating again more uh, seriously, yeah. I guess. Or like, at least showing it on his Instagram. And I'm like, wow. Because I always felt like I was too old. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I missed it. It's over. I missed uh-huh. it. I missed the gap, you know? Yeah. And then, but then I saw him and I'm like, this guy, he's a fold. Like, he's like adult. You yeah. Know? Like, he's got a whole life. Yeah. If he can find time to skate, I'm like, I can find time to skate too. So I'm trying to, I want to get down. I want to, I just want to be, hey, my goal fun. right now is to kickflip 
It's to ollie, shove it, pop shove it, and then kickflip. That's the nice. those are my tasks right now. I like that. I like that. It's fun. But, uh, it's still fun to do. It's like a, I only get like a couple hours a week, you know. Yeah, even just riding. You know, yeah, just riding around even is fun too. Yeah, I only get a couple hours here and there, so I just do what I can. But I'm excited. I mean, it's good. it's like another. I have so many things I want to paint. Like yeah. I've painted here and there, but yeah. I kind of I just have this urge to paint a big yeah. like a, on a like a big yeah. old canvas. I don't know when I'm gonna do there, it. There's so many things to do, you know. If I can yeah. choose one, right? Like, right. I, I wish we could do everything we wanted to do. Like, yeah. but it's like, um, like I I would love to pick up the guitar and start learning. Oh yeah. And also, I would love to learn the bass. Yeah. And I also want to fucking there. There's there's you know so much shit. Choose yeah. one type. It's so hard to choose. Sick. It's so hard to choose. They get to, I mean, yeah, because you got to choose one. It's like how we chose the music. Like yeah. we really like, okay, we chose this, and then we put thousands of hours. We have to do that, but with something yeah. else, you yeah. Know? So yeah. it's it's kind of hard because I want to, yeah. I want to fucking get down on the saxophone. Yeah. I want to get down on the key. I want to really like get like you know just like like. Yeah, a keyboardist like crazy. I want to fucking pianist. Learn how to fucking snowboard, you know. Ooh, yeah, that'd be fire. I mean, I'm not that anxious to snowboarding because you're strapped in at your feet. Yeah, that's scary. I remember we went snowboarding when we were children. Yeah, I do and remember you that. Vomited I do. all over the <laughs> I snow. I do remember that. I did. It wasn't the snow. It was inside. It was inside. It was oh, inside okay. the lodge where we're buying the the <laughs> equipment and everything. And I was just, I remember that. Because of that day, I still won't eat dots, you know. That's then, what it was? Yeah, it was the dots. I mean, yeah. I don't think it was that, but the dots was not being digested because I could still see them. And I was like, ah, oh, tra- I'm traumatized. Right. But I remember, yeah, I remember skiing. We were skiing is what we were doing. And I think uh, me and you, we we had we had to share the fucking thing, the sticks. Yeah. So I had one and you had one. So, <laughs> so like crazy. we were just, we were not hitting it. You know, we are just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, just it was not working, but yeah. you know, regardless, I think we just lost interest eventually and just started fucking fucking around with the snow. Yeah, probably. I just remember you throwing up. That was that was hella funny. That was fun, but in my brain it was in the snow. But yeah. I guess it was in a lot of. You have a lot of throwing up stories, I guess. I too. do, I do. But I like that because I feel like you know my body is really good at taking stuff out of my. System that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, fuck the dots. You know, like anytime I throw up, I always feel better after. You know, that's true. That's a good way. I mean, if you're feeling sick, you just fucking you just bomb it. Yeah, yeah. I've I gotten alcohol poisoning type of feeling last time. Like you've been used to throw up two years. No, I was just throwing up because it's cause. But the thing is, I wasn't eating nothing, so I was just throwing up like water. You know, Whoa. bile. Hate that. It was, oh, it was so horrible. That was the first time I ever blacked out. Like, like, uh, it was like, I keep hearing like a camera. You hear that? Like a blink? No. Oh, um, anyway. I haven't heard it. But, yeah. I blacked out. I remember going to the bar, getting a black Superman. It's oh, a, it's I think a, you told me this. It's, it's an AMF, but black. Black. More alcohol lit yeah. to it. You know, you start seeing it, you know. This it go, was like, oh, like it's blue. Oh, oh look, it's, uh, it's getting green. Oh, look at the blue. Oh, it's black. It's like when you mix, I don't know if you've done this, but if you mix all the drinks together. It's literally the, the that. The drinks. It's literally that, you know. I was like, after the fucking, like, seventh bottle, I was like, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. And I, I fucking tasted that shit. It tasted like I was just drinking straight rubbing alcohol, bro. I was like, uh, fuck. But, you know, I was. That was in Turlock? That was in Turlock, huh? That was in Turlock. That's and great. I was like. Fuck it, well, I fucking got this drink. I'm gonna down it, you know. Let's let's fucking turn up. Let's fucking turn up with the demons tonight. Was it fun though? Do you uh, remember? Uh, it was fun. It was all right. It was decent, you know. I was also coping with something at the time, so right. it was a uh, like double was, edge. At the time, I was just fucking not even thinking about it like that, you know. Yeah. But now I'm looking back. I'm like, damn, yeah, nigga, you got a problem right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I walked home from the bar, and there was at least twenty minute walk. How how long did that feel? I just remember walking, and then I woke up in my in my bed. I was like, "Whoa!" And then I felt so sick, and I just started throwing up. And I was like, "Fuck!" And I couldn't go into work. 
And then, you know, and that shit was crazy. Yeah. First time I ever blacked out. That's crazy. It's a story to tell, but I definitely did not like blacking out. It's not fun. Hell it's, no. It's like, it's like the the worst thing I, about drinking is like there's a point to where you can't control yourself. And if you get there, it's like, fuck. Yeah. And point of no return. Yeah. And I don't like getting to that point. I like getting a little like, a little right under it, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. A little right under it. Like, yeah. to the point to where I'm having a blast, I'm probably maybe 30% going to puke after tonight, but I'm good. You know, anywhere after that, and I'm, I get to the fucking tight, I might fucking cry. I might fucking, you know, I was going to black out. I'm going to yeah. puke all over myself type, you know? But yeah. No, that's crazy. I, the first time I threw up from alcohol was in our San Jose show. New Year's last year. Oh, shit. Not last year. Last last year, and that was yeah, two years yeah, yeah. ago? Wow. That's how long ago. It feels like yesterday. Yeah. Anyways, but it wasn't even that bad. I just got back to the hotel, and I went... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, just, uh, I just went... Mm-hmm. I don't know how long I was in there. You know, like, time doesn't exist yeah, when you're yeah. at the toilet. You're just like... Yeah. You're just there. You're just, uh, like, crazy. Uh, the hot dog I just ate came out basically whole, you know. <laughs> and then I just oh, went in man. the shower and I was just like, I was just in the shower, <laughs> letting it hit me. Yeah, but that wasn't fun. It was a fun night, though. That was a fun night. That was a good night. Uh, shout out to Ant Dog. He's, he said, keep going, bro. He looked me in the eyes. And I'm like, I will. That was inspiring. That's what's up. Um, next question. Were we on something? That we were at a question. We already answered it, though. Oh, okay. Uh, Need Your Soul, Jamar Uno said, Need Your Soul, Volume 2? Need Your Slow Burn, Volume 2. Need Your Slow Burn. (laughs) Oh, yeah, my bad. Hella read that wrong. Need Your Slow Burn, Volume 2. Yeah, why not? Hey, man, whenever there's a time for it, we can fucking... Crack it out. Yeah. It's Let's busy it. right now. Let's get it. A lot of things to do. A lot of people we want to work with. Mm-hmm. When the time comes. So little time. Yeah, I feel uh, with all this like stuff, content coming out, Yeah, it just feels so hectic. Even though it's like it's really not that hectic, just our online president is very yeah. busy. So it feels very hectic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even just posting every day, I think that's what makes it hectic too. Because we're still... When we're not here, we're still on top of another thing. Yeah. We're still at our wherever moment we're at. And wherever we are, there's still stuff to be done here, you know? Yeah. There's always stuff to be done. You know what I think about a lot is, like, uh, I'm trying to balance, find a balance, right? Mm -hmm. I also want to get back to, like, the the industry side of, like, the beat sounds and stuff. Yeah. But I've heard stories of producers are, like, you have to be up at 3 a.m. Yeah. And, like, the guys talk about they wouldn't have got this Beyonce placement or whatever if they weren't up at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I want to be asleep at 3 a.m. Like, what are you guys talking about? Mm-hmm. So that kind of, I don't know. It kind of, like, it's kind of, uh, how do you say, like, deters me from it. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see how it goes. I'm rooting for you. Thanks, man. I would like to, I want to do, I want to do more production this year, for sure. I know I said I want to collab with everybody. And... Whoever comes my way, like fucking, let's go, let's get it. We'll do something quick. But aside from rapping it and making songs with people, I yeah. I would I would love to get more production placements with the homies, with anybody, anybody who's needing beats or one like that that I'm fucking with and ready yeah. to ready to rap. You know, I, I like I like people who like to go. Yeah. If it's anything about collabing, I like I like it when they go. Yeah. I when we get right to it, that's it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, because that's me. I like to go. Right. I like to just go. Well, obviously, I like to I like to smoke. Right. Yeah. But that's not gonna stop me from going. I'll be rolling, and I'll still go while I roll. Yeah. I'll go while I roll. I'll go outside. I'll I'll go while I smoke. Clear your mind. And you know, it's just like, it's fun to me. I'm passionate about it, so I guess that's what makes it come easy to me. You know. Yeah. More production placements would be dope this year. Yeah, I'm on the same. Well, you know. You know where I'm on. Yeah. Um, where are we at? What time? Where are we uh, at? I'm not sure. You know, I've been feeling like the the fungus has been 
has fungus been, has been uh, pulling me in. Like uh, trying to like, do like, mushrooms again. Yeah, mushies, like I need the a, Yeah, I need a little. Um, I need a little reflection. I need a little. Mm. Why do you you think you need them though? Well, I mean, you know I, mean? I mean, obviously nobody really needs anything. Yeah. But you know, there's a you know with me it's always been like a you know like a like a calling force like you know it's like saying like, addiction. No. <laughs> and. You know anybody who has done it, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You know they 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 know the feeling of like you know there's something that you need to look in deep with that inside yourself. You know a lot of people can achieve that by meditating. I'm not a meditator, and I haven't practiced enough to get to the point to where where you can uh, have that feeling of. For anybody can get the feeling of mushrooms and, and psychedelic feelings just through meditation and breathing. Just right. mushrooms is like a fast pass at Disneyland or what? Yeah, but. It takes a lot of practice. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen the first week you meditate. You got to do it consistently. You got to really actively try to meditate. You got to actually be in the now of getting your mind clear. Because meditating is just not being there, right? Right. Just yeah. blank. Not thinking about anything. You're... I mean, I feel like I, just, I do that yeah, it's it's easy. It's it's a lot. It's no, a lot like, easier, but not in a good way. Like, it's a lot when easier. You zone out. That doesn't count, though, huh? It's a lot easier for for like people like us to like that. We you know, there's a lot of times where we're just like spacing off into shit, and sometimes not think about anything, but a lot of times think about deep things. Yeah. And the thing about us is we're is able to and enhance our like we can do it easier. You know, we can clear our mind easier. Uh, at first, it's going to be anytime, anytime you try meditating, the first time it's going to be like everything you're going to be thinking about, everything, because you're going to be like, I have to not think, and everything's going to fucking come around right. your mind. But uh, aside from that, what I'm saying, uh, everybody who's done it, you know, they, at, at least who's done it, you know, in a sense of self growth and whatnot, you know, there's a lot of people who just do it for fun, and that's fine. Yeah. You know, I've always looked at it as, you know, to do it to search within myself, really really have a connection with myself not you know like uh, i always thought of it as like a solo a solo thing you know right i'm gonna be back i'm gonna go on a hike real quick i'm not i'm physically a hike you know mental hike you know spiritually a spiritual hike yeah i'm gonna go on a spiritual hike real quick i'm gonna see what's up you know i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna yeah you know I'm, i found what i needed to find and a lot of the times when that happens and i do it I'm, i've made a lot of realizations where it's like damn you know and yeah and uh, a lot of shit that had made me change certain habits. So, and when I'm saying I'm feeling that now, it's like uh, I'm I don't know right now, speaking from my perspective, what it what it might be or might not. But you feel I like know, something's knocking. I know I know when it gets there that it's gonna be it's gonna click just like everything else, just like everything else clicks, and it's gonna you know domino effect into what it needs to happen. Yeah, I don't know. Um, obviously. I'm not big on that stuff. Yeah. But I know you guys are. Yeah. You guys isn't. Everybody else I talk to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, I don't really, that's too, it's too crazy for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I get a, I get pretty yeah. existential just mm -hmm. off of marijuana. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm, I'm very confident that yeah. I'm going to break my brain if I do it. Yeah. And that's enough for yeah. me not to do it. Because I know the, from what I hear, the intention going in mm -hmm. is a lot of what your outcome will be. Yeah. And I know m my intention will be good, but you know how you have, the, like, the, the you, have a, you have an intention you're trying to get, but you know it's real. Your, your real fucking, the my real, real inside. It, we'll be freaked out, yeah. you know? So it wouldn't, I don't think it would end good. So yeah. I'm just, I just don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. That, that stuff, I, I wanted to try we like... Like that, like just growing up and stuff. Yeah. But the psychedelics never really yeah. interested me, just because they were mm. like, I don't know. That's like, yeah. For me personally, it's like, whoa, that, it's too big of a step for me. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I mean, everybody, yeah. every, literally everybody. Yeah. Has told me when are you can do mushrooms, man. <laughs> I was like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool off those, man. But everybody, everybody has a good experience, so yeah. that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody comes out on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. Yeah. I, but I, I'm a big advocate. Strong mind, you know what I mean? For for no... For also... 
I also do not condone or advise anybody to do anything. Do your right. own will. I just live, I live I live my life. You can live yours. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Don't listen to what I do. Try to be like me cuz you know, I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a decent I'm a decent dude, but you know, I got little fuck ups every now and then, you know. I got habits that I got to change. You know, just cuz something might work for me doesn't mean it's might work for you. Right. If Everyone's you do different. use, please do it safely. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Safety. That's a big one. Safety. There's this guy. There on, might be fat on this, the mushrooms. There's now. this. There's this guy on the internet, in okay. YouTube, and he's he's bald. Yeah. Whoever whoever does the research will know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you do, <laughs> if you are them? looking for the research, you know he's very he's very good at uh, even showing you what it is without you trying it, and the most accurate way. I feel like he's the most accurate advocate for. For tripping and, and and drugs like that and and all sorts of drugs just because he's there you know he and his whole motto is I know people are gonna do it I'm not advising them to do it but I'm gonna help them hopefully not fucking hurt themselves right you know if their information is there at least they can we can fucking solve the do you do you play his videos while you're tripping or is nah, it like- nah 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 because. I feel like it's also I, I don't wanna look at technology when I'm tripping too. Right. You know, I'm 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 invested in the earth. I'm in I'm I'm real like the natural life. I, I pre- I'm I'm just like appreciating every little thing, you know, the, right. the, the the life and all that. So and I feel like sometimes looking at my phone, it just kinda like it rubs me wrong. It's like uh, right. it, it makes me feel my stomach feel weird. I'm just like ah, I don't even wanna look right. at it, you know. Well it, I mean yeah, I think for the most part, technology technology there's a, because we're all addicted to it, you know. So yeah. I think that's maybe that's what you're sensing, yeah. the negative connotations of it. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say something else, man. Bald man. What was I thinking of? Uh, hot ones. Hot ones. Sean Evans. Is it uh, Sean? Evans? No, it's not. But it you looks like him. Evans? It looks like him though. It's like if Sean Evans was a fucking guru, you know. Yeah. The drug guru. But it's 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 cool, and lemonade. When you get too high, drink some lemonade. Is that true? For me? I don't know. I was going to say, I'm scared of drugs more now. Yeah. Because of the yeah. fentanyl. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you fucking got to be careful with everything. I'm like, everything. there's no... Even, like, with weed... I mean, I'm not smoking right now, but yeah. even with street weed, I heard yeah. there's fentanyl and that shit. Yeah. You just got to fucking... It's like, what the fuck? Just just like with everything, you know, you got to fucking... Yeah, but how do really you test be, weed? Like, you don't They have know. fentanyl test kits. For weed? Well, just test the weed. I guess I don't even know how do they how do those work. I haven't gotten one, you know. Okay. I usually cop from dispensary or right. very or very good trusted sources that I know that they I've seen the motherfuckers grow it themselves. Right. You know, I know that, that has to be the only. I know way. they're putting the chemicals that are gonna get me high and not the chemicals that are gonna fucking kill me. Right. Yeah. It can't be. Uh, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be like two guys down. That's yeah, too many. yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. we're, you know, and I know it's like, w- like weird to be like, you know, where'd you get this from? You know, you know question, some questions you're not supposed to ask. But no, no, no. So if if he's not the fucking guy, then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to the guy because right. I need the guy. Yeah, that's always better, man. You gotta be safe out here. But skip the skip the extra step of going to the guy. You know, go to the dispensary. Dispensary. I mean, that's a good thing. It's a good thing about now. Mm-hmm. Might cost you a little extra. You're going to pay that tax, but you're going to pay that tax for safety. For safety, yeah. Yeah, man. Dispensaries are clutch, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. glad because I started smoking pretty late. Mm-hmm. I don't think there was that many dispensaries when I started, but maybe a year into me yeah. smoking. Yeah. It was, they were everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I still get a little social anxiety, too, yeah. when I first started going in there. I was yeah. like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, it, drugs everywhere? Yeah. Ah! It's different. It's yeah. different. I I definitely love the I just I'm a I'm a connoisseur I mean, you know yeah I, yeah I, I love I'm a connoisseur connoisseur so oh man I like everything about weed I like to yeah learn it I like to taste it I like to what properties this one has what terpenes are gonna make me feel like this what strains are woo de woo like that's why I feel like if I was to get another job like a second job. I'm going bud tender for show. Yeah, you know, I would like to be a bud tender. Like if I was, if uh, whenever with a fucking music shit and everything that takes off and we're like cool and I can kind of be like, okay, I just need a decent job to get me. You know, I need more time. 
on the side. So now just get a cool, decent job that's gonna give me money flow still. Right. But tender. That's what I'm gonna do. Just cause I, I can see I, that. I feel I like I trust you. I feel like I'm just like, you know, like I'm just honest. I'm just honest. Like I'm gonna be real with you. You know, you tell me coming, but like, yeah, bro, I fuck with this, but if you're really going for taste, that's gonna taste like some, you know, it's it's gonna taste whatever, but you can get stupid lit. But if you're looking for taste, you know, I really yeah. you know, I'm I'm also I also like talking to people too, you know. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't necessarily yeah, mean Yeah, but if you know you know it, yeah, it's easier. You yeah. Know? Like the the social anxiety it it, it it doesn't help to talk to people, but like inside I'm like I'm like, oh, you know, I really wanna yeah. I really like meeting people. I really like talking to everybody, but yeah. it, you know, sometimes that fucking the, those yeah. inner fucking thoughts just the get, worst get, thing yeah. is when you try and talk to somebody and they're they're talking about something that you know nothing about. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like I want to engage in here, yeah, 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 but I just don't even. Yeah, and I don't want to just grasp at whatever yeah, you yeah. know. So it just ends up like, oh, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then just a lull in conversation. Yeah, it's, yeah, but yeah, I know, you, but yeah, you'd be good at it since you. I mean, you know a lot about it. You tell yeah. me, about it. you you describe things to me. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, oh, okay, I, 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 I trust you. I just, I think I get very into whatever I do, you know? Yeah. Like, anything I do, I like to really look into everything about it. I like to do the research. That's probably, that's a cheat code, too, though, to the social anxiety stuff. Yeah. Because you always have something to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, 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 I guess in my head, it's like, there's really nothing stopping me from being like, yo... Did you know this would do, 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 but I don't know that that little voice in the back was like, we're like, motherfucker, nobody wants to hear about how fucking long a shark can live without water type shit. You know? How long can a shark live without water? I don't know that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. When, when in doubt, I just say random stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. And I, 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 so far, I've gotten on a, you know, I, I kind of just don't really speak until I need to say something. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of, uh, I kind of learned that growing up. Just growing up in general yeah. in a family, it's like you don't speak unless spoken to. Yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of took that. So it's even weird to speak. Uh, that's why rapping was such a hurdle for me. Uh-huh. Cause it's like yeah. nobody wants to hear. Like it's but that might be like some sort of you know deep trauma or whatever. Yeah, that I don't really recognize. It's like nobody wants to hear what I gotta say. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm just not gonna say anything. Uh huh. That also goes into it. I feel it. But uh, what, you, what was that? Where? What was I talking about? Wait, what made you think that? What? Oh, nobody wants to hear that. The shark. Thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. But we're out here, man. We're doing it. We're uh, performing mm-hmm. in front of people. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. A beautiful, a beautiful fucking hurdle that I've overcame. Yeah. Because I would not present for nothing. If I, if I had to present, I'd do it. But if I didn't have to present, I was not going to present. Yeah, I feel like I'd miss days or something. Like I remember, oh, I did I did do this one time. I didn't go to school one day because yeah. I was presenting, uh-huh. and I didn't go, and I didn't present. And then uh, the next, I was like, oh, but I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Yeah, and I went, and like she forgot about me or something. Because more people that didn't go yeah. presented, but they never asked me to. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and you weren't gonna say anything. Oh, hell. <laughs> so I just let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even get graded. Like, yeah. I, but I mean, I was, I was happy about that. Sick. Like it's weird that I would take a take a, a failing grade over just not getting up there and saying some stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. How we? Is that it? What are we at? Are we? We can call it right there, no matter what. You down? Uh, I, I'm, I'm down. I'm down to call it. I'm down to call it. All right. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see it. Let me see it. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the slow burn hour. Hold on, let me get this motherfucking mic up. I really say this shit on my get chest, ladies up. and gentlemen, players and pimps. This has been the slow burn hour, episode six. Episode six. Two more, we hit the fucking statistic, and we going past it. We going to keep it coming. We going to be live this Saturday, January 20th, at the Tank Shop. It's going to be me and Donnie. We're going to be with God's Work, Oso, Mac G, Aztec, and Drew. It's going to be a real good time. Sounds by DJ Nijo So. Shout out Johnny Boy Lopez and Nelson. We're going to go real crazy. Y'all have a great week, and we'll catch you next time.